What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning on the left side of the map in the red color playing as Poseidon. His name is Kimo. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Grass. His name is Gaia. No, he's playing as Gaia. His name is Grass. We have a matchup flip here. This is the first time I think we've seen this happen. This has been a possibility for the entirety of the tournament. Um, definitely no problems with a flip matchup when it's kind of random matchups. So we get to see the matchup from the exact opposite side here. So we saw Grass's attempt there against Chemo's Gaia. Now we get to see, was that a... Uh, was that God imbalance? Is Gaia the best God in the game? Or was that skill difference here? As, uh... Chemo. Chemo's Poseidon. Don't get to see Chemo's Poseidon all too, long, all too much, but Chemo does have a very strong Hades. Hopefully, his Hades doesn't influence his Poseidon too much. And what I mean by this is, Hades tends to be able to get away with a lot more because he's got Restoration and he's got Hades Shades. So you can take a kind of average fight in the Classical Age with Hades, and what ends up happening is you click Restoration, your opponent goes, I mean, i got to fight it because it's an average fight for you, I'm going to win the fight, or I'm going to do, do well against this Restoration. You take the fight, your opponent then also gets a bunch of Hades Shades after it, and you're really upset because you took a decent fight, and anyways, you go into the Poseidon side of things, and what ends up happening is, instead of taking the average fight and clicking Restoration, you actually hit re you actually hit Ceasefire on that position uh, before the fight, if it's going to be an average fight, and you then get yourself the advantage that one minute later by taking into something that's important where that's concerned. Uh, but we'll see how things are going to go in this game. We actually get ourselves a uh, a fairly similar map, in all honesty. Last map had, didn't have a whole lot of hunt, and this map doesn't have a whole lot of hunt either. In fact, did we see a rhino get stolen here? We may... Well, one rhino there got stolen from himself. Did we see a rhino get stolen from um, Grass? He's only got one over here we did see the rhino get stolen. So, Chemo gets the lure down. He steals 500 food away from Grass. Grass gets left with only 1,000 food starting in the in this main base. That's the total amount of food hunt on this map, it seems, unless I'm missing something. It uh, looks like there's something down the bottom here. It's just a little bit of cow. But, Grass gets left with only 1,000 food. Chemo gets a little bit more, but it's there's no real resources on this map for chemo to fight over so the question is how greedy do you go on town centers here is there also another avenue to go in this uh in this game as well as an option as chemo here he might go for the early hero he might advance and he does end up going for the early hero in this uh in this game i mean we keep seeing this from from players we see players really really enjoying getting out early theseus and in actuality here chemo is going for another villager on top of the early hero i'm a little bit surprised to see that he had the resources to advance but he just wanted that extra villager realizes maybe advancing to the second age so fast in this map on this map especially because he stole the rhino there isn't that important there's nothing he's going to be able to attack with his early uh second hero so going up a little bit later means he gets a total of an extra 60 resources over advancing a little bit earlier and he and that could be enough to get himself somewhat of an advantage and he is trying to use that advantage by getting himself hand axe really really early here as we see a town center coming up for grass grass going through leto this is a fast second town center but a 4 30 advance time with it as chemo here he is scouting around he's finding himself the relic he's found himself odin's wand here reducing the temple the upgrades inside of the temple's cost by 20 percent there um as chemo retreating back with that one but this does this just means here that grass is going to get this town center up for no problems here uh oracle scout 
is in position to defend this, so you can use that Oracle to shank away, but we'll see how things are going to go. Uh, we do have a comment here. Ragnarok asks, I always wondered, why don't people raid houses instead of villages? Cutting down the population number like that. Exactly. Well, you can, you can raid houses. We do see people raiding houses from time to time. It's very, very valuable. Picking off a villager is worth more value um, than picking off a house. The house is only like 40, 50, or even in some cases, zero resources. Uh, but if you pick off a villager or you cause idle time, uh, say you say you cause 10 villagers worth of idle time with a raid onto villagers, right? Uh, if you idle them for five seconds, that's around about going to be the 50 resources you would have killed from, uh, you would have taken away from your opponent by killing a house. And yes, that damage also comes from delaying a villager coming out, but it's only one villager that you can, that you're delaying where that's concerned. As Chemo's Centaur here getting sniped down. Good play here for Grass as the Automaton getting slapped away there, but looks like Chemo going to have to retreat back for the time being. Pickaxe coming through as well for Chemo. A little bit surprised to see that one. Probably would have expected to see maybe a fast third town center here, but Grass already has the Oracle in. He's already got a handful of units, so it might be a little bit challenging uh, to make that one happen as Chemo retreating back into his main base for the time being. Village is coming over onto the chickens as well there as he's going to be finishing up on that. There's only a little bit of cows in the main base as well. So Kimmy will have to be farming in this game. Husbandry coming in as well. Maybe a little bit late on that one, especially with the cows. Uh, I, I do think on these kind of... I, I've been thinking about this myself a little bit about what to do on a low hunt map. When should I get husbandry? I do think the idea of just on low hunt maps getting husbandry as early as you possibly can to get that extra little bit of food on your herdables, it's got to be the right way to play. You have to be getting yourself an extra bit of um, of food on those cows. Uh, delaying that seems to be a, a mistake in my estimates. So things like hunting dogs, temple, husbandry as an idea for Greek players, definitely something to be explored rather than um, even like delaying that early second hero on these sorts of maps. Makes a lot of sense as well. But we see Chemo. He's getting himself out. The Hippocon, he's going to get himself out some hoplites here. Grass at this point hasn't gone for a third town center. It's two town centers, two, excuse me, two town centers a piece here, which might be a mistake in all estimates here from Grass, as it looks like he's actually just going to rush flight control here in this game. So he's gone plow, Irrigation, flood control. Does he have hand axe or bow saw yet? He doesn't even have hand axe yet. So these farms are costing him a fortune here. Uh, the difference in styles here between chemo and uh, and grass for their Gaia is absolutely stark. The difference is stark. Is that the is that the phrase? I'm not actually sure. But grass returning back into his main base. Military base coming up. Grass is going to have to do some sort of fighting here. Uh, it would seem, though, I mean, his units are so safe. All he really needs to do is get himself watchtowers and defend his towers with the guy trees a little bit better. And he wouldn't need to defend this with units at all. Though Kimo as well, he's going to be starting to put farms down around his town center and all the good stuff that happens where that's concerned. As... Chemo, kind of pull back. Grass, lots and lots of... Uh, I mean, his economy is... I don't really know how to explain it. His economy is struggling here, to say the very least. Even though he's got flood controls, because he's on two town centers pumping villages from two town centers on farms. Even though they're flood, flood control farms, he just doesn't have that many villages out yet for those farms. He needs a couple more, it would seem, uh, to make that work. As well as, it, as well as it should. So Grass is not really enjoying these two town centers as well as what it seems Chemo is enjoying them. As we do see a cheeky little automaton coming in, uh, coming back for Grass. I mean, you've got to be kind of a little bit careful with, with these automatons. If you just defend and like you never leave around your main base, you can basically have an invincible army to some degree like your units die and then you just heal them back up or repair them or whatever counterbacks coming down there for grass is he getting villages out a little bit more consistently now kind of looks like it but yeah he's 
This is something I talk a little bit about what makes the, the best Gaia player the difference between the best Gaia players and like the level down or even like non-Gaia players, like, like Aranus players playing Gaia, is the decision of when to train units and when to get economic upgrades. The, uh, getting the economic upgrades and not dying, that's the line you have to be riding. Don't die and get your economic upgrades. Min defend is the um, technical term. As Akimo's got the gold now to advance to the next age. He sees the army pulling out. Lots and lots of automatons here for Grass. As Kimo, how is he going to deal with this? Do, is he going to click ceasefire on this one? I don't know if he even needs the Townsend to just go heroic age. Kimo has got a um, a style of age mythology. He he wants his town center. He wants it now, uh, and he's going to do anything to get it. It seems as more villagers coming through, hand dice coming through for for uh, grass as well. Population differential here it's kind of close, uh, but Kimo spending a lot of resources on the town center instead of upgrades or instead of whatever else does mean grass is going to make a big push through here as we see a military academy coming up more units flowing in for grass as he wants to take the fight grass could also start considering getting his own th uh, third town center while this fight is all going on toxody is getting some good damage from afar trying to take out the carabalas here picking that one off is going to be a big big help because there's a lot of hoplites here as well but how do you pick off all of those automatons there's so many here six automatons in this fight one down there as the hippolyta and the theseus trying to get as much damage they possibly can done but the theseus now down one hippolyta remaining as the army continuing to fight here chemo not clicking ceasefire grass has got the advantage where this is all concerned here after all is said and done as the uh the hippolyta is still trying to take these automatons out he's basically got to kill off every one of them if he doesn't then the automatons can repair themselves up during the ceasefire we see a citizen coming through to attempt to build an economic guild here as the unit's going to turn in onto the settlement here and this economic guild getting up does mean a big problem for uh for chemo's town center desires here as it looks as though we see the ceasefire the economic guild comes up will the town center get up yes it does but grass has gotten literally everything he wants in this game. He's gotten literally everything he wants. He's forced the ceasefire. He's gotten on the economic guild on this doesn't really do anything. Probably should have considered that option a little bit earlier. But now Grass, he's got a couple of options to move forward. He can get himself a third town center during this ceasefire, no problems. He could go to the, the heroic age and hit a timing pu push, no problems. He could go for the mythic age and a timing push. There's so many options now that ceasefire is out of the picture. And Chemo has lost so many units here that he's not going to be able to go to the heroic age very, very easily here. As we see the farms, I'm not sure exactly what was going on there for Chemo, but they're, they're getting deleted. Villages out on different gold mines over here, spread out across the map. I like the different gold mines being grabbed there all over the map for the time being. Archery Rangers coming down here as well for Chemo uh, as... Town center on the way now for grass. Channels on the way as well. Military barracks coming up. Do we see an armory up anywhere? Yes, we do. No armory upgrades coming through just yet, but grass now does have himself uh, quarry as well as bow, uh, not bow saw, but hand axe. And he's got a lot of economy going to be coming through here. Uh, definitely would be worthwhile just taking villages off of wood and putting them over onto gold at this point. But um, it seems more military buildings, excuse me, as my mouse just decides to. I decided to click the random mini-map there. Um, we just see some military barracks coming down for Grass as his Heroic Age is going to be on the way here. And Chemo is going to be looking for somewhat of a fight as the army of Grass pulling into the main base of Chemo. We'll see if Chemo is going to be able to pay attention to this one because these units look they are like, like they are focused straight onto this position. But the army gets spotted out on this position and Grass has got to decide where he wants to go. Kimo, if he's got any idea here, has to know these units are coming straight for him. He does see it. Walls getting thrown up here in an attempt to defend, but the walls get spotted as they're getting targeted down. It looks like this one will get up as well as the villagers might need to retreat off of this gold mine for a hot minute here as well. Is Kimo going to be retreating back there? Aphrodite on the way. Rhea already on the way for grass, which should mean a mythic age implode is going to be a big big problem 
for Chemo to deal with here moving forward. So we'll see what Chemo's plan is to kind of defend against that as the village is getting pushed off. If the gold mine, this one, a little bit, this guy gets a little bit caught out as the army's swinging around onto the sides here to see what they can do. Chemo a little bit in the not care too much about his villages. This is actually an interesting decision from Chemo. You can actually learn a lot about the decisions that the, the top players make, the really micro decisions here. Chemo said here, if I leave my villagers on the gold, I'm baiting grass to stay away, stay around and take a really, really bad fight. Losing two villagers there really doesn't matter because Chemo's already at 80 villagers. So they're just going to pop back out of the town center in 14 seconds. So you're only really dealing 50 resources plus uh, the 14 seconds of idle time or whatever that, that you, you cause from them being dead, right? So it's a very small amount of resources compared to picking off uh, a Terma, right? Which is 90 resources. So at these points in the game, these sorts of raids, uh, especially with a full army, they're really not as good as you might think, um, funnily enough. If that made any sense. If it didn't make sense, let me know because I'm not even 100% sure that uh, that was what I... Yes, anyways. But good raids now in the main base here, pushing off these uh, these villagers off of this position. Chemo trying to get to that next age here, but Atlas is already clicked through. And now Chemo, he's going to be in the position that Grass was in last game with a big implode coming through to cause a lot of problems. We do see some Behemoth. By a Behemoth is in as the Nemean Lion gets traded there immediately. Hephaestus is coming through. No, Artemis. The God of Choice. Kimmer wants to try something a little bit different than what Grass tried against him. So now we see a little bit of a difference in styles here. Atlas, everything's similar for for, uh, for Grass here, but Kimmo going through Artemis. And what is good about Artemis? Well, these forward buildings are going to get earthquaked and the units of Grass are going to get damaged through that earthquake, which might mean that after the employed is done, Kimmo might be able to hold here. Those are the questions, as we do see an Atlanta here queued up with 99%. Uh, definitely want that one out, but he's not managing to get it through just yet. Behemoth down to uh, a little bit of HP remaining as the Atlanta does come through. Definitely need to take out that, that Behemoth here as the Atlanta snipes the uh, Automaton, snipes the Behemoth, and that is all she wrote for Atlanta, but the heroes are down. How much damage does Implode do after all is said and done? As the units retreating back, Atlas is at 90%, going to be coming through very, very shortly here in this game. Fortified Townsend is also on the way now for Kima. Does he have himself Masons? No Masons as units sneaking through here. Definitely all that matters in this position is a good, uh, a good Implode, <laughs> this doesn't work. You cannot garrison your way out of an implode. Unlike Lightning Storm, implode says, sorry, my friend, you're coming out of that town center. Uh, this is another mistake that even that I think everyone makes. Uh, as, as the implode goes in, your auto queued units are sending more stuff through. Chemo drops down to 110 population as the army is pushing through. But Artemis is in now. Earthquake probably going to get dropped down on this position and indeed does do so as the palaces will get taken out there. Town center down to a, a little bit of HP remaining. Villagers trying to repair it back up as the Chimera coming in. Got to keep that one alive though. Town center ends up falling where that's concerned, but all of those four buildings are now down as where is the Chimera going to go for Chemo? He needs to get some distraction action happening, but Grass is in an amazing position now and Chemo doesn't have himself that plenty vault to help boost him, his position back, but he did get a lot of damage onto these units. A Chimera coming in here to get that splash damage onto those Arcus will do a lot of damage, but Grass is immediately getting himself the palaces back up. If he can push forward and get himself some more uh, position here as well, that'll be huge as the Chimera does come in, slaps a, a unit there, retreats back uh, where... The Argus is now swinging around here to try and chase down the uh, Chimera. But the good thing about the Chimera versus the Colossus is the speed of the Chimera uh, significantly outpaces that Argus there. As the Chimera coming through to try and take out those Argus grasses, splitting those units up like he's playing StarCraft 2. Uh, but the Argus will... Oh, oh, he had it. He was close enough. He decided to run away. Palace is now up. Chimera is still alive. There will be a traitor at some point soon here. Chemo is getting closer to uh, to his 140 pop. Grass and Groom 
Not really close here in this game either. Do we see a fortress anywhere? Yes, we do. Which does mean Heliopolis will be able to get uh, created here. The Chimera does indeed get traded on this position as the Atlantic going to try and take this one down. Uh, getting some good damage done, but down to 267 HP. Nonetheless, as the village is pushing forward for grass, what's he going to... I mean, what do you want to build? You just build a building? I think you just build a building just in case. Another palace would never go astray here as he does decide to do so. This came out pulling back. The unit's going to be coming over here as well for, uh, for grass. Another Heliopolis is out for chemo as well as the Argus coming back in. Grass now going to have to deal with an Atlanta swinging through here to try and get in onto that Chimera. But the Atlanta gets caught out. Beautiful micro there from Grass and Groom as Chemo loses Atl his, his Atlanta and the Chimera is going to come back in to get max damage dealt against these Toxodes who've got really low Hack armor, and that special, as soon as it comes through, is brutal. But Hippolyta pops out. She's going to be able to take out that Chimera, it seems, as the Heliopoli starting to come through for Chemo. But, I mean, he's losing population left, right, and center. And it looks like this uh, change of direction for Chemo going through Artemis is just uh, meaning he's losing the game faster than what Grass lost his game of Poseidon here. But we'll see if uh, if Kima can make it work. Kima is the master of comebacks in Age of Mythology. Uh, for whichever reason, he is somehow able to make it work so much more than everyone else. Townsend are now coming up here for grass as Kimo's Hippaspis getting taken out over here. Heliopolis getting cleaned up as well. As the Destroyers coming through here. Toxoid is getting cleaned up over here as well. And Kimo on this position does decide he doesn't even want to try it and decides to tap out. Coming back down, 60 population at the moment. Town center on the way. Very, very challenging to break through the economy of Gaia here. Uh, I mean, Kimo, there was the decision here that Kimo made. Two down center in Heroic Age or go for the th third town center. The problem here was Kimo went for the third town center, took a fight, and that just meant that Kimo was so far behind. I think that if Kimo had hit the Heroic Age first, like he was looking like he was going to, he would have been able to curse the army, get the town center up for free, and probably be in a better position here. Um, some of this decision making can um, really, really impact what a game looks like. I love that Grass played the game this way. An interesting decision to go for fast uh, flood control over getting himself early hand axe or bow saw uh, did mean he had a lot more food to play with earlier. Really nice play from Grass. Two wins for Gaia. 100% win rate, Gaia. Yes. Yes. The meme continues. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider the following on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next game.